Hi, this is Mel from Mesa, Arizona, Zone 9B. And the other day, a uh, nursery over in Phoenix called Green Life had a sale on trees, a real big sale. So I picked up a couple of allspice trees. Here is the name allspice. The scientific name is Pimenta diosia. Um, pimenta basically means pepper because when Columbus first came to the Caribbean years ago, the 1600s, uh, he thought it was a pepper plant and took them back to Europe and uh, started, they started growing them there and they found out it was a, wasn't a pepper plant and it's called allspice. Now, when you see in recipes allspice, a lot of people think, well, what are all the spices in allspice? Well, it's just one spice and allspice has the, the flavors of uh, cloves, of uh, nutmeg and or ginger, a clove, a ginger, and a nutmeg all together in one spice. And that's what they use a lot for pumpkin pies, which I like a lot. But they also use uh, allspice in pickles, in ketchup, in some kinds of breads, cakes, candies. They use it in sausage. And they use it in some cooking of some meats and, and fish. But um, the nice thing about it is you can, when you get the berries, they pick them just before they're ripe and they let them dry out. And uh, it's best to put them into like a pepper grinder and just grind them as you need them because the, the fresh berries, the berries on that, when you're grinding them up when they're dried, have more nutrients in them than if you grind them into a powder ahead of time. So if you buy the, buying allspice from the grocery store, it's not gonna have as much nutrition as if you had, um, the, if you bought the allspice uh, dried uh, berries. It's better to grind them up like that. But also, you can actually cut the, uh, take a, the leaves and grind the leaves up. You can see right here where I cut, it, cut a piece of the leaf off here on the end, here. Well, right there where I cut that off, that's, you just take a small piece of leaf and you can put it into, put some boiling water over it, add a little bit of honey to it, and it makes a really good tea. But you can actually take these leaves and grind the leaves up too, and make a powder out of them. And they, you know, you break a leaf in half, it's a really strong smell of clove, nutmeg, and, uh, and cinnamon when you, when you break, even break the leaf and smell it. Uh, this tree here is not quite as healthy, so I've, I've added some vitamins and nutrients to both of them. The older leaves on this one here look a lot healthier and a lot greener than that. So I've added some uh, fertilizer, just a 10-10-10 fertilizer, uh, organic fertilizer, and it, it helps them grow better. They like a pH of the soil around 6.1 to 7.8. Uh, our soil in Maricopa County, Arizona is usually about uh, 8 to 8.5. Eight so you'd want to lower the pH a little bit, especially if you're going to put it in the ground. They can take temperatures, cold temperatures, down to about 30 degrees, but anything below that is going to damage the tree, especially younger trees than that. But it's still good. You know, you can see some, some sun damage on these. So I'd still put them on the east side of the house so they don't get sun damage. Um, but I'm really excited about growing these allspice trees. Uh, to taste them and everything like that. It says they can get 9 meters high, which would be 30, about 30 feet high. But if they're kept in a pot, you can keep them in a pot and you can trim them. And you can keep them smaller, or even if you put them in the ground, you can trim them, keep them smaller so that they don't get so tall. It says uh, from seed to fruit, so if you're going to plant seeds and try to grow tr your own trees once you get berries, then it takes about three to five years before they're going to start to get berries on them. And, but you can actually take some of the leaves off right away and start getting the same, same flavor as the, the berries actually give you. Some of the health benefits of it, it's, it was interesting to, to read about, was it can help an upset stomach, stomach if you have nausea, nausea or something like that, if you drink a, some of the tea from the leaves. It can help, help insomnia, like sleep disorders, so you can go to sleep easier. It can actually help to lower blood pressure, and it has an anti-clotting of the blood effect on, on it. So, if you have any questions or anything like that on uh, allspice, or... Um, any other uh, tropical plants in that, if you put it in the uh, comments. 
Now, also, if you can put it in the comments, I, I, it's interesting if you can put in there where you're uh, watching this video from, so I can learn how far these videos are reaching out. I had somebody from India tell me that they were from India and they and uh, was watching the video. And uh, also, if, if you like this video, if you could give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on the video. And if you'd like to see more videos on tropical trees and plants, I do videos, quite a few videos on different tropical trees and that. If you uh, hit the subscribe button, there's no cost to subscribe. And then there's a bell there. If you hit the bell, it'll uh, notify you when we do future videos on different tropical plants. So thank you for watching and have a great day.